Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Misconception in Astronomy, we are going to talk about light and how it travels, and look at whether light travels in straight lines. So, does light travel in a straight line? Well, the answer is sometimes, and although really almost never. What light does is light will always take the shortest path between two objects. So, technically, in completely empty space, far away from any sources of gravity, yes, that would be a straight line. However, the problem is space is not empty. Space has lots of things in it. So, for example, as we look at in the image here, we see our sun. Well, our sun it has mass. So our sun down here has mass, and that deforms space around it. So if light wanted to travel in a straight line, it would have to travel from, say, here, and travel straight through this, and that would be traveling out of our space. So you would not be able to happen. The light has to travel through the space, through our four-dimensional space-time. So when we have things that are bent like that, the light will then travel this curved path. And that's what we see in the image here, that the light will travel from the Viking craft, go down closer to the sun there, and then back up again. So it's still taking the shortest possible path within our space. Now you have to remember here, we're condensing our space down to two dimensions so we can see our three spatial dimensions. And we're really, we have to try to imagine something that is very difficult, which is to imagine three dimensions into a fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is something we simply cannot picture. And I mean a fourth spatial dimension, not a time dimension here. So light will always travel through that shortest path it can in space. Now, what does that mean? Well, we can look at another example here of how that works, because we get things like gravitational lensing. Now, this kind of thing has been detected for over a hundred years now, that we could detect the motions of, or the, not the motions, sorry, the positions of stars changing. So here we look at a star cloak passing close to a black hole. The black hole greatly deforms the space around it. So far away, it's relatively flat, and light would travel in a pretty much in a straight line. However, when you pass close to this, it, it will get deformed. So a slight travel would do a little bit, but a star over here might travel a path that goes down deep and then comes back into that gravitational well and back out. And that is the shortest path in space that it can take. So when it does that, then we get... Uh, the starlight appearing in a different direction. We don't see that curved path. We just trace the starlight straight back, and it looks like the star would be here, when in reality, the star is actually here. Now, we see this many times, again, as gravitational lensing. Let's take a look at an example of that, where we see a foreground cluster of galaxies, and that is in the front here. And as we look at the more distant objects, then more distant objects' light are bent as they come around this, and they seem to come from other directions. So the light takes this curved path. Again, when we look at something from Earth, we see it as straight back, so it seems to come from here rather than behind, say, this cluster of galaxies. So it's, this is very similar also to what we get on Earth. Now, Earth is a spherical planet close to spherical at least. So what is the shortest path on Earth? Well, it's not a straight line. It is a great circle because of Earth's curvature. Now here is one example that if you were to travel a great distance, in this case from Paris to Tahiti, and if you were to travel that, you would not travel what you would think might be the straight line going from one right to the other. Why don't we do that? Well, that is a much longer path than the great circle path, which is this curved arc. Now, of course, when we distort it, when we make the globe flat, we take the globe, we stretch it out, that deforms things. The closer you get to the poles, the more deformed it gets. So when that happens, that makes it look like it's a much longer path, but in reality, it is much shorter to take that path that, in this case, from Paris goes up over through Canada and down 
rather than traveling what looks like on a flat map would be the straight line path from Paris to Tahiti. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary here. And what we've looked at is that yes, light will travel in a straight line when you're talking about empty space. However, matter deforms space, making the shortest path through our space something other than a straight line. And we compared this to airline flights, which will follow a great circle path on the Earth. So not necessarily what looks like the straightest path or the shortest path, but in reality is the shortest path you can take when confined to the surface of Earth. So that concludes this lecture on light traveling in straight lines. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.